just explain what happened yesterday. What were they awarded? Well, I mean, they were awarded for standing up against racism within the royal family. That is what Miss Kennedy said. Um, you know, he made a, there were a couple of references made to racism within the speech. Here's one. Ultimately, we. It, uh, sweep, they want to sweep down the mightiest walls of oppression and resistance is something that Prince Harry said. He also said, ultimately, we live in this world now where we're sharing experiences, sharing stories. Um, so he's he's trying to say that it's, it's his job to uh, fight oppression and it's his job to fight this resistance. Um, they received, uh, people paid $1 million to sit in this room with them. So Alec Baldwin was the host. You, you can see pictures of them throughout the evening. Megan looked beautiful. I mean, she was in a custom-made Louis Vuitton dress. And, um, you know, they did have a small group of people that were waiting for them at the entrance. We did have a heckler that yelled, why are you trying to destroy the royal family? Um, but for the most part, I do think that they're considering the evening a success. How did they deal with that heckler? Oh, they, they, you know, it's funny, never complain, never explain when it's convenient for you. They just kept on moving. As you said, um, you know, um, she's, she's an actress who became a princess, uh, made a fortune, 100 million from Netflix, flew in by private jet, a uh, million pounds a ticket. Doesn't sound very impressed to me. On a scale of one to ten, how silly do you think this award is? I, to me, it's a political move. To me, it's, uh, you know, friends taking care of friends. I mean, I don't know who really is looking at this and thinking, wow, this was a great honor. And I totally, the sacrifices that they've made. Uh, this is just a chess move. She wants to be in the political sphere. Of course, she's going to associate with the Kennedys. Um, you know, this was a, an, a room full of Democrats. And this mm. is who she needs to um, swoon. This is who she needs to get on her side. And I, I do think that she has political aspirations. And, and that was, mm. that's the ultimate objective. Has she got the US public on her side? We know the reaction, particularly from the press here, has been one of sometimes seething anger about the claims that have been made in these uh, docuseries trailers. What's the perception been in the US? Sometimes I wonder if I'm in the minority because I'm not a huge fan. Um, you know, I, I'm, I get surprised sometimes when I see the amount of people that want to fight with me on social media about her. I do, I want to tell you that I feel like people are over Harry and Meghan and that they see through them. I think that we're going to, I, I think I will better be able to answer that question for you after these three episodes are released on Netflix. Um, you know, if you look at the the reaction just to the trailer itself i mean over 400,000 people have disliked it which is heavily uh, um, much more than the people that have liked the video but i i i don't think that people are buying into it i think that they think that they're entitled and they're ready for them to stop complaining okay so um last night we saw kate at buckingham palace looking every inch um, the, the princess looking like a real Royal, um, and they, of course, were in America last week in Boston at the Earthshot Awards. In terms of the court of public opinion, in the UK, there's clearly one winner. What about in America? Who's kind of winning the battle of, of the public opinion? Is it, is it Meghan or is it Kate? I mean, I, I think it hands down, it's the Princess of Wales. Yeah. Um, Catherine is just so stoic, so sophisticated. I mean, it's even in the way she moves, she, the, the way, her posture, the way she dresses. Uh, she's just absolute perfection. And I think the reason why we love Catherine is because her outside is a reflection of her inside. I think she is a very good, kind human being. And we sense that and we see that. And there's a real authenticity there and sincerity. I, something that I don't think we find in Meghan. With, with Harry and Meghan, everything seems very calculated and orchestrated. And what is the hidden objective? What is the hidden, hidden meaning? What are you trying to do? Like I said, it's like a game of chess. Why is she there? What is she doing there? You're an actress from Suits. Why are you being... <laughs> what are you doing sitting down with the Kennedys? Um, but with, with uh, the, the Prince and Princess of Wales, everything just seems so effortless. And I think that we really admire that. And that they just they seem to have great hearts.